I'll get that to you as soon as possible then. Okay, bye. Now, could you let me know what this is all about? Oh, yeah, certainly. Um, I'd appreciate a brief meeting to discuss my members' welfare, vis-à-vis -vis canteen staff shortages. Yes. Well, Mr Brownlow could squeeze you in at about three o'clock. Is that all right? Yeah, lovely. I'll see you then. then. Marion? Oh. Federation business. 171 from Sierra Oscar receiving. Uh, 171 receiving. Go ahead, Sarge. Go to a fire at Mrs. Cook's 1717 Belmont Street. Uh, sorry, Sarge, you're breaking up. Uh, you'll have to repeat, over. Uh, Reg. Yeah, Oscar from 181 receiving. Yeah, what's Reg playing at, Narika? It's PR's on the blink side. Oh, great. You two anywhere near the scene? Yeah, about two minutes. It's about a junkie that she says has set fire to our dustbin. Right, on our way. Um, look, I'll cut round there. You go along the back, OK? Yeah, all right. Look, this better not take long. I'm supposed to be seeing him upstairs in an hour. Federation business. Here, look, if it's just a kid, you deal with it. <coughs> Probably just an L.O.B. shout. Move back. Move Come here, I said. Stop. Come here. Brian! What, mate? Don't do anything silly. Rage! Brian! With me! The door. The back door. It's locked. Sir, fire stop. Rich has been taken hostage. They're in Emerson's supposed Yeah, I know what you mean. Move away. Come on, clear the doorway. Away from the doorway. I never got it. Good, mate, calm down. Calm down. I want the bloody key. Look, she's told you. What's your name, huh? Wendy. Wendy, she said. I know what she said. Shut the door. Get back in here. No, no, you don't want her to do that, mate. God, sir, you, why don't you shut up? Shut up! Uh, sorry to barge in, sir, but Hollis has managed to get himself taken hostage. Good God. I'm just on my way there now. All right, Marion, cancel my afternoon, will you, if we've got a problem. Get me the DAC on the phone as quick as you can. What have we done so far? Shotgun involved. Monroe's got PT-17 on the way. He's got himself stuck in a cold store. All right. We've got a PT-17 on standby, sir. Good man. And Cry has put out a shout for all available troops. All right, come on, let's get going. Look, mate, why don't we all sit down? We can get this thing sorted out. Mm -hmm. Hasn't it gone a bit far, Fanny? No. Things are never as bad as they seem. What? Every cloud has a silver lining. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Look, mate, I'm just trying to help you now, right? Get this sorted out before wheels get set in motion. What do you mean? Well, if someone pulls a job with a gun these days, they issue us with guns and all. Ain't just a couple of coppers out there waving their truncheons about. We're going to go to the pictures tonight, me and Daddy. <laughs> I didn't mean to... No, 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 no. I know you didn't. Nobody ever does. All I wanted was to walk away. Don't run, I said to myself. Just walk out. Act normal. And then I'd say, you're coming towards me. Yeah, well, sorry about that. Trouble is, there'll be dozens of lads out there by now. Now stop snivelling, you stupid cow! Yeah, well, then, look, relax, please. Just try and relax. <laughs> look, mate. You've got one barrel left in that thing, right? Well, you ain't gonna waste it on there, are you? Huh? You think I wouldn't? Look, what I'm saying to you is, Wendy's no use to you, you see? She's no use. Yeah, I was only coming in here for some collies. Hey, I'll see. Just let her go, eh? No. If I have to break out, she'll be my shield. We'll take you down the station and somebody will take a description, OK? Right. He was very cool about it, really. Kill that racket, will you, Quinnan? Now, did he threaten your assistant? Oh, no, not really threaten. He only said he'd got a gun. She didn't actually see it. No. But we are instructed not to argue, just hand over the money. You didn't see nothing? OK. Neither of you. Just sit there. Yeah, sure. 
What do you think you're in? I cut it. Mm, badly, right? When I was sawing the barrels off, I slipped and cut myself. There's no panic in your own time. I didn't think anything of it. He said he wanted to clear his joint account. After I'd handed him his money, he said I've got a gun. Give me everything in the drawer. So I did. Then he left. And uh, what name's the account in? Mr and Mrs Arnold Ramponi. Ramponi? Is that his real name? Yeah, I think so. PT-17 have got both exits covered, sir. It's a controlled temperature in there. We could turn it down, force Chummy's hand a bit. No, not while the girl's in there. Mind you, if it was just Holly. Yeah, very good, sir. Now, you look after call control until the governor arrives. I'm going to go inside and see if I can make them. Sir, back, I thought you ought to know the doors to the store are made of steel. Yeah, they're two, three inches thick. Well, he's going to take some shifting, isn't he? Oh, it's, it's, it's no, but it's just... Who are you talking to? No, I'm well, honest, the thing is... Well, why did it just make that noise? Well, it's knackered, yeah, you... you well, I don't want it. Well, then you can talk to the people well, out. I thought you just said it was knackered. Well, ease, ease. Well, what the hell's the point of me talking into it? Oh, you got me confused. I should have taken your advice. Given Reg some basic negotiator's training. He's a born talker, sir. That might help. Yeah, but what's he like at listening? This way, sir. I don't know. I'm telling you, mate. They ain't gonna come crashing through that door. What'll be the point? I mean, it's solid and you've got a gun. I know what I'm doing. Well, stop calling me mate. I'm not your mate. Look, all that on the radio. They were trying to open negotiations. They were trying to talk to you. Mr. Ramponi, this is the police. My name is Chief Inspector Derek Conway. What do I do? Look, talk to him. Please. I need to know that everyone in there is unharmed. Can you talk to me, please? I didn't want any of this. Why were you in here? Please, Mr. I... Mr. Ramponi. Mr. Ramponi. Please, I need to go to the toilet. I told you to be quiet. No form for robbery, armed or otherwise. That could make sense. It was pretty amateur from the sound of it. Yeah, but he was done six months ago for GBH on a Kenneth Frank Watson of 15 Thurzo Avenue. Now, Watson was involved in a motoring accident, wrapped his GTI around a tree. His passenger was Melanie Ramponi, daughter of our man. Right, got an address? Mr. Ramponi, will you let me speak to the constable? No! Please, I can't wait much longer. Mr. Ramponi, look, look, go over in the corner, right? Maybe you have to, you know, you can... Look, mate. Sorry, Mr. Ramponi. I'll tell you, you ain't achieving nothing keeping her here, nothing. No? No. Look, you were right about her. She is useless. You know, it might have been an idea using a woman as a shield, but that one... <laughs> Forget it. She'd be all over the place, you know that. Yeah. So I'll have to kill her. Just let her go. Be easy. No. No, that's no good. I know the governor. No, you're not talking to him. I can. I know him. Look, I'm the Federation rep, right? I negotiate on behalf of our members all the time. I can talk to him. No, shut up, shut up, shut up! Just let me think. Here, uh -oh. Do you think our Mr. Ramponi left in a hurry? I'll take upstairs. Mm. June? Have you got any idea where we can contact the daughter? Not yet, sir. All right, thank you, June. 
Well, if he's killed his wife, I don't think waiting this one out's going to work. Well, rushing him is impossible, given the area they're in. Yes, I understand. Yes, Junga. It appears the daughter is at St. Xavier's school. All right, June, understood. Thank you. Get Marshall to pick her up, will you? Do we tell her about her mother? No. No, just bring the daughter here. I wanted to talk to her father. Maybe she can persuade him to come out. OK, sir. We just want you to talk to him. Get the whole thing sorted out. I can't believe my dad would do something like this. He wouldn't hurt one end of a gun from the other. God knows where he got it from. Never been violent then? No. He took the accident really badly. He blamed himself, blamed Mum, everyone. He's overprotected, you see. He always has been. He says he loves me too much. Why do women do it, eh? Do what? It winds you up. Yeah, classic, isn't it? Wrong place, wrong time. Be better up without them. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Mr. Ramponi, can you hear me? It's all right, Gub. We're OK. Look, I said no talking. It's all right, don't worry. Now, listen, you want to get her out of here, right? You know you do. No. It's too risky. It wouldn't be. I can talk to that lot. Keep them away. Then if you can let Wendy go, It'll be a start, won't it? He's locked himself into a virtual citadel with about six months' supply of food. Yes, thank you, Derek. One thought has occurred to me, sir. The lights, they're controlled from out here. I suppose we could... No, I don't think so. If you turn the lights out, you'll panic him. If you try and rush him, you'll have no target. It's too dangerous. <sighs> right, your answer. I suppose it's back to shouting at a steel door, then, is it? Look, you keep your gun on me, see? She opens the door, they can see that, and they won't do nothing, you with me? Mr Ramponi, can you speak to us? You can have the woman! Is she all right, Arnie? She needs to use a toilet! We've got it sorted out, sir! Wendy's gonna come out! She's gonna open the door... Aren't you, Wendy? Yeah! She's gonna open the door and walk out... Time. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, Reg, I've got you. Is that all right with you, Arnie? I don't want no tricks, OK? Or he gets it. When you're ready, then, Reg. Open the door, walk out, and close the door behind you. Go on, now. Go. Shut the door! It's Shut all right, Arnie, it. it's all right. I'm closing the door. Okay. Sir, we know that he's used the gun at least once already. I wasn't going to take any more risks. Don't worry, Derek, I'm not criticising. I thought you did very well to get the woman out in one piece. Well, if you don't mind, sir. I think I'll have a cigarette. I thought I was a goner before. I really did. You nearly were. But with my luck, I most probably have missed. Do you want to tell me about it, Arnold? Why should I? It's all right. It's no sweat, no sweat. I want prying, I just thought... Coppers, social workers, doctors, you're all the same. You should have done him, not me. You should have helped me. I'm trying to, Arnold. I tell you, if I had him in here right now, I'd blow his head off. Oh, Arnold. She encouraged it. I couldn't believe a mother would do that. Their secret. What secret could she have that she couldn't tell me? Who are you talking about, Arnie? It doesn't matter. 
What's it to you anyway? You better calm down. I feel responsible. I keep wondering how Reg is coping. When your back's to the wall, you cope. Yeah? Is that Italian? No, it's Chinese. Sounds? Oh, it's Italian. You ever been there in Italy? No, never. Oh. Would you say you felt uh, cut off from your roots then? What? No, oh, cut off from your roots. Estranged, uh, alienated from your heritage. Heritage? My dad was from Limehouse. My inheritance was his World War II medals. Heritage. I wanted more for my kid. Yeah, I know what you mean. Got kids? No, no, not as such. I've got a niece. Melanie. She's my little girl. Too good for all of them. Too young. What do you mean, Arnold? Ken Watson. She was 15 years old. Her mother knew and let her go. 15! You can tell me, you know. I might be able to help. They say that hostages grow to like their captors. Yeah, I can see that. I'm going to like you. Funny, isn't it? Under different circumstances, you and me were... Could have been mates. She's my life. Come on, you lot. Come on off, though. Come on. This isn't Miami Vice, you know. In this country, we bore them to death. Come on off, though. Go on. An unmarked car, that's what I need to get out of here. Where are you going to go? Arnie! I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to him. Tell him. We're discussing terms, sir. Give us a few minutes. I'll shout when we're ready. An unmarked car with a tank full of petrol. Yeah, maybe I'll take you with me. Well, where are we going to go? Devon, as it happens. Melanie's idea. Oh, she likes Devon, does she? Yeah. I want her brought here. Have her waiting in an unmarked car outside. Well, they probably cut her now. They wanted her to talk to you. I don't want that. What happened to Melanie Arnold? She got scarred. You know what I mean? I can't really look at her no more. It's like she'd been... messed up. There was nothing wrong with her, not a blemish on her, like a little doll. And then that happened. Who's Ken Watson? Her boyfriend. I didn't even know she had a boyfriend. The wife did. They didn't tell me about it. They knew I wouldn't have allowed it. Melanie went out with his, with his boy. They had a crash. The wife should have stopped her. She said she was upset as I was, but she didn't really care about Melanie, or she'd have found a cash to get her face fixed. You can see why I had to sort her out. What did you do to her, Arnold? I'll give her a... Well, I told her... You're asking too many questions. I'm just trying to understand. No, you're not. I did what I had to do. That's enough. Yeah. There he is. Excuse me. Gold control from 487. Of course, it's plastic surgery, you know. They can work wonders these days. I saw this program. That's there. what the money's for. To get her fixed. Like she was before. Mr. Ramponi, we've got Melanie out here. She wants to talk to you. I don't want her here! Dad? Dad, are you alright? Oh, babe, I didn't want you here. Just come out, Dad, please. Let's go home. We can't go home, sweetheart. That's the trouble. I don't want to do this. I don't know what to say. Can't anyone find my mum? Yeah, well, all right, love, all right. 
Ja dann bringst du ihn mal schon. You had me worried at first, Arnie. But basically, you're a family man, aren't you? You think I wouldn't use this, don't you? Of course not. Not now. How do you think I sorted her out? You love Melanie, don't you? Stop it. Look, we're used to listening to people's domestic problems in this job. Actually, most of it is domestics. So you ain't alone. I reckon it's a domestic problem at the bottom of this. Leave it out! Look, put the gun down. We can get your wife here. She can talk to you. No. What's her name, your wife? I told you to stop it. Look, as far as that building society is concerned, obviously it's serious, but it's your first offence, isn't it? I'm no expert, but the courts are bound to exercise leniency, especially considering your domestic circumstances. Look, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Try to shoot me, sir. Try to shoot me, dude. You're under arrest. I think you can have the bottle. Taken down and maybe you better have a sit down, Reg. If you don't mind, sir, I think I've been here quite long enough. Get going. I thought him and me were moving towards an understanding. It just goes to show you, doesn't it? Been in this job for years. I can still get it wrong. Not on, mate. In the car. In the car. Get in. Well done, Reg. Hi, All right. Reg. You're all right. Yes, yeah, thank you, sir. You sure? All right, yes, Reg. Sir. Hello, Noika. Good to see you again. Yeah, and you. I bet you thought you might not say that again. It was touch and go in that place for a while. I don't mind saying you. You do very well, Rachel. Thank you, sir. Killers like that can be very unpredictable. Pardon? Or well, didn't you know, Reg? He shot his wife. No, I didn't know. I didn't believe him when he said that. I just thought he was an ordinary bloke. They're always ordinary blokes, Reg. Thanks, sir. Mr. Rampoli, you do understand you've been arrested for the murder of your wife? <clears throat> I understand. 